Hi, this is Janique. Thank you all for turning in today. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today I will be talking about spiritual spouse, how I get delivered, and my story and experience with that wicked, evil spiritual spouse, demon. I will just say a quick prayer, Lord. Thank you for this video. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that this video is going to edify people. Lord Jesus, people is going to get delivered through this video in the mighty name of Jesus. We soak this video underneath the precious blood of Jesus. No weapon they release would not prosper against it. It would locate people that would not block it. I come against you, evil spirit from the marine kingdom, and I chop your head off in the mighty name of Jesus, and I sever your power and all over our life in the mighty name of Jesus. You evil, wicked, spiritual spouse from the marine kingdom, we chop your head off and we loose ourselves free from your imprisonment in the mighty name of Jesus. We said consuming fire against them in the mighty name of Jesus. We come on a spirit of confusion to come upon them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We come on them to fall and die in the name of Jesus. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus name. Amen. So my experience with a spiritual spouse, I got delivered from that evil, wicked demon this wicked evil demonic spirit from the water kingdom love to have sex with human being this is when you're dreaming you are having sex with these demonic creature and i'm going to point to a scripture that tell you that demons do take human being as wife because everything in the world that's going on is in the bible it's a good reference this is like a history book so in genesis 6 verse 1 and 2 it said and it came to pass when men begin to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the son of god the son of god is the falling agent saw the daughter of man that they were fair and they took them wife of all which they choose so yes they used to do it back in in adam and Eve, they and they still do it today. The fallen angels, they don't like having sex with each other. Demons, they don't have sex with each other. What do they like to have sex with? Human being. That's who they have sex with. The human being they like to have sex with. And the Bible talk about them. So it's not something I'm making up because a lot of Christians, they're not awake. And that's why I make this channel to awake up Christian about these evil demonic stuff that is happening in the earth. And when you dream that you having sex with, you know, whoever in the dream, because sometimes you appear like an ex, even your own husband. Yes, you're having sex with a demonic spirit. You would wake up all wet. You would even have orgasm during the dream because I used to have those wet dreams from I weren't saved and I didn't know what it was. And I'm going to tell you, I was very ignorant to the device of the enemy when I weren't saved. I was ignorant. I was stupid. I entertained these demons. I thought the dream was all fun and just a dream and nothing serious. So the demonic spirit, like when you're ignorant, ignorant because i was very ignorant i was dream seeing i'm having sex with my ex-boyfriend and i think nothing of it you know i laugh about it i even tell him and stuff because i was in a long distant relationship at the time he's living in jamaica i live in america and we laugh about it he say oh it's so funny i dream see you having sex with you last night we laugh he 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 but it weren't funny the joke was on me you know i'm there laughing think oh and we just laugh say it's just a dream you know it's not a big deal nothing like that i figure you know i just miss him so much and just one piece of him so i dream that i'm having sex you know with him but no it was not so i come to find out once i become saved that this is abomination to the lord god almighty i shouldn't be having sex in my dream at all i should not be and i should entertain it because when i weren't saved i used to entertain it and you know the demon used to come and then i used to go to my bed i like to go to my bed sexy like i'm sleeping beside a man Although I was sleeping alone, I used to go to my bed in just nice bra, 
nice underwear you think i'm sleeping next to a man or i'm going to my bed in nice lingerie so the demons love that because they love when you dress seductive you encourage them the demon walk past in the night when they see you dressing like that when they're walking past they just come and come lay and sling it put you because <laughs> because you know i am welcoming them you must cover yourself when you're sleeping i'm realizing this now because i used to be one that don't like to sleep in underwear the next thing if i would wear like a dress then i won't wear underwear or shorts but when i do wear underwear it used to be like a panty and underwear only you can't go to sleep like that i learned that that this is oh i was encouraging these demonic spirit in my life the next way i was encouraging these demonic spirit i used to have phone sex that's how I encourage them to come into my life and stay in and take a seat in my life because I used to have phone sex back in the days when I was in long distance relationship and stuff. Lord, forgive me. I, I repent and all of that already, but I always repent it every day about it. Either way, just so I could keep these doors closed. And the next way, oh, this demon is spirit coming to my life through aura sex. So be having guys doing aura sex to me. I'm doing the same thing to them. And you're not supposed to be sucking on no guy lollipop. These are what the fallen angel do. They teach us this in porno because they're the one that make the porno. The porno industry is making the marine kingdom. So these are ways that they come in. And the next way they come in, I'm just giving you an example in my life. And it could be the same with your life. The way I dress. I used to be dressing all sexy all the time. Pum pum shorts. Shorts so short. Dress so short. Skirt so short. I have to be showing off my tits. I used to be just dressing like that. Don't know why I have to dress and show off everything. Won't even leave nothing for the guy to imagine. When the guy look at me, I look like a piece of meat. Same thing does the demon. You see, when we dress like that as women, we think it's very sexy. Guy look at us and, you know, girl, you are fine. You are sexy. You got a nice body. It's the same thing the demon is saying. We're not the only person on this earth here. There is demon on this earth here with us a lot and lots of demon and in this wicked day they're even more wickeder than usual the demon that's here because you know they're getting ready to unleash from underneath the sea revelation talk about the beast that live in the water the lava ton spirit them demonic spirit they them going to get ready for unleash and come on earth here and they're going to unleash from the first and second heaven and come here and they say it's alien you know that's what they call them in the movie alien but they know alien they're a fallen angel so yes this is how these demonic spirit come in sexual exclusive sexual position that's how they come into your life having doggy you riding the man like he's a horse um in picking you up pounding you you know this video very raw very raw you know i'm a raw and still people very raw the video is very raw i'm just uh, giving you raw this is how these demonic spirit come in through this exclusive sexual position that we learn on porno watching porno when we watch porno yep sex this is how these demonic spirit come into our life and there's people that is married and they still have spiritual spouse because when they got married, they never break the covenant with a spiritual spouse. And then that spirit give them hell. They want to have baby. They will have miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage of miscarriage because those spirit is barrenness. When you have the spiritual spouse in your life, they make you very barren and not fruitful. And you will always be somebody that procrastinate in life because they Bring these spirit when they have sex with you, they exchange blessing for curse. Like God release a blessing to you and stuff. Like you waiting for a blessing. Like let's say you waiting for you know financial blessing. When that spirit come and have sex with you, it take the financial blessing and you get delays and you won't get no financial breakthrough. Sometimes you can't even find a job. They take every good thing in your life. They suck it all up. Not only do they take it when they have sex with you. They could give you a disease. You end up mysteriously with all type of cancer and wonder, oh, come I end up with this type of cancer in my body? That's from the spiritual spouse. And they take your blood back to the marine king. They take your sea man, if you're a man. They take the woman when she not. They take it back to their kind and they manipulate in you. And this demon, they could get so 
bad when you become safe this is when they torment you more you see when you're in the world they would torment you but not as much they said you are doomed for ella i don't have to torment you that much because i know you're going to come to ella and burn with us because that's the plan for satan to take as much as possible to hell with them so yes but when you become saved no day you start waking up they start tormenting you more. When I become saved and I realize that masturbation is not good, it welcomed these demonic spirit. And whenever I was having the urge to masturbate, it's because the demon wants to have sex with me. And I didn't know that. And I didn't know that masturbation was a fornication against my own body. I and it's abomination in the sight of the Lord God Almighty. He talk about it in the scripture. It's abomination to have sex with your own self. You commit a fornication against your own body. It's abomination to the Lord God Almighty. So yes, these evil spirits, they cause you to want to masturbate. And you prefer to even be single than being with somebody because you're already married to these spirits. So my experience with this when I become saved, I got worse with masturbation. I thought I could have turned it on and off. I thought it was a switch, but no, it was not because I didn't know that I had a spiritual spouse. I think the sexual dream, it were nothing. I didn't take nothing of it until it become intent and it's starting to feel real now. It's become, they start putting it on you hard now and it start become real, feel real. Like you're having re you get up and you wake up like, oh my gosh, I just bust on myself. And you're like, oh my gosh, I really had sex, you know, because you feel how you get up wet and yucky and disgusting. And you feel disgusting and dirty when you find out you're having sex with demon. Who want to have sex with demon? They are filthy. They are doomed for hell. We're not supposed to be mixing with no demon. We have sex with a human being. And you have to be married, of course, because I don't promote sin at all. This is not what I'm here to do. I don't promote it. I'm here to promote holiness and righteousness. That's what I'm here to do. So, yes, these demonic spirits are filthy demonic spirit. When you decide you become saved, they turn it up a notch. And you sit in there. I was sitting there. They was even having sex with me while I was awake now. That's how much they was tormenting me, the demon. I was there sitting down. And I noticed that stuff is stimulating my clitoris. And I'm like, why is my clitoris being stimulated? And I can't see the thing. But I know that something is touching on my clitoris or licking on it while I am sitting down. And I used to be like the blood of Jesus against you. They go away, but they come back because they had an open door. I had to defeat that evil strong man in my life. I had to. The demonic spirit was raping me awake. He were doing it alone. He get bold now. So he's going to make my Christian walk miserable. This is my early stage of my Christian walk. Back in 2019 and 20. They decided they're going to make my life a living hell. I am on the road driving. They're tormenting me. I am in church. They're still trying. To, they're having sex with me while I'm in church. Which I should. They should be doing that if the church is very powerful. They should be able to come in to torment me while I'm in church. The demonic spirit is still having sex with me in person, and I'm not making this up. I swear to God, they were still tormenting me, messing with my clit uh, while I'm in church, tormenting me. Going about my business, tormenting me, driving, tormenting me, having sex with me, sitting down, having sex with me in person, real stuff, real stuff, real, real stuff. I kid you not. They was tormenting me like crazy because I wake up and know this ain't true. And I was fighting them. I was fighting them, but they suck out your energy because when they have sex with you, they take back your blood. And give them, give you their Satan get blood. I start to notice that my skin was becoming discolored, and that's from them tormenting me and stuff. And then I was becoming anemic. I was never anemic. I go to the doctor. They say, "Oh my gosh, you're anemic. Poor thing. You must be tired all the time." I said, "No, I'm not tired all the time. But I know what this is. This is spiritual, and I'm not going to tell you what it is because y'all going to think I'm crazy." <laughs> I didn't tell her what it is. I said, I'm going through something spiritual. I know that's why I'm having an anemic problem because they take your blood and suck your blood. Every time they come and have sex with you and take back, um, 
you know when you when the lady nut and wet they take it back to the marine kid and that's what they was manipulating me they had remote control controlling my sexual feeling thank god i didn't give into my sexual feeling though because they i was feeling horny and i was rebuking it all the time i rebuke you you spirit of horniness get out because i know that i should be horny because i'm a christian woman but i know it's because the demonic spirit of my woman poured my vagina in their kingdom and manipulating me until the lord have mercy and deliver me so before you get deliverance it's going to get worse before it get better before i get deliverance it was getting worse they was coming like every single day and i hated it and i was just so stressed out i was so stressed out. oh you're gonna tell that you struggle with this oh you're gonna really tell and stuff a lot of christians struggle with it but who you gonna tell they're not gonna understand they're gonna think you're crazy so you have to go through this silently you and your god i went through it with me and my god until the lord sent me help people help help that understand these stuff that these are spiritual spells coming to torment you at night you know it was coming all the time to torment me they come around in let me tell you the time they come around five something in the morning and six something so after a while i got smart and decide to get up and pray at that time so you have to get smart and say if they're going to come at this time because they come at the same time all the time between the 5 30 to 6 hours in the morning that's the time they was coming to visit me i decide i'm gonna get smart get up when they come they won't find me i'll be praying so at least I'm keeping the oil burning in the lamp. And that's how I end up getting deliverance. I tricked them. And even when I was bathing people, I had it so bad. The demonic spirit was in the shower with me bathing every day. Because oh, I noticed one day I was just closing my eyes and, and just washing my back. Then something touched me and I feel so filthy. Because you could know when demon touch you. You feel filthy. And I get cross and I run out the shower. Say, so this is you're taking this thing a little bit too far you disgusting spirit i hate you i don't want you and so you have to talk to them say i hate you i don't want to have sex with you i'm a human being and i'm not supposed to have sex with dead and you have to raise them up and plead the blood and fire chop your dick off if you come and have sex with me you will die you evil spirit let there be a wall of fire around me day and night you have to speak to these demons. We're very aggressive and get aggressive with them. As I said, it's, it will get worse before it get better. Because it was getting very worse with me before it get better. And I was, I said, God, I can't take it no more. This demon is swallowing up everything. I was depending on God for some financial breakthrough. Um, the demon come and have sex with me when they know I was going to get the breakthrough. And I didn't end up getting the breakthrough. I was like almost there. I had the almost there spirit. I almost would get a breakthrough. I almost would get this. I almost would get that. Uh, the thing make my life very boring. I, I weren't fruitful for many, many years. I weren't fruitful. I was even sitting down not working for many years. Not like I didn't want to. I didn't have no babysitter. Even that, the, the enemy used that to block, you know, and stuff. And to, to the Lord show me mercy. Show up and show me mercy. Then I start having financial breakthrough. I did a lot of fasting. I have to tell you, it's not gonna take one or two fasts, but it could take like ten to twenty. Um that's that's that with me. Some people get delivered quicker. But with me, it takes a lot of fasting to get rid of these demons because they was in my life from a little kid. I think maybe I even born with them. I think I was born with, what I mean, born with them, their generation curse. They was passed on to me through the umbilical cord, through my parents, you know. So, yes, they could come in through bloodlines. They've been in my bloodline for a long time. So, it was a, it take a lot to come out. They had to be cast out. The demon had to be cast out. The demon had to be cast out my body. The demon had to be cast out my body. Those demonic spirit, they had to be cast out my body the evil spiritual spell they are wicked they're evil they're filthy and they're dirty and they love having sex with the human being especially the children of god because they know that god hates it and stuff god hates it he wash away those people during the days of noah because they always mating with folly angel and making all type of mermaid baby amphibian baby half frog half human off this off alligator off human 
uh, art they was just mixing and mating with you and the human race was so polluted because they pollute you and they put sickness cancer they could give you hiv they could give you a sexually transmitted disease because i know even um a story my son father gave me that you know there's people in this family that have died from hiv in africa and they never cheated on their wife and i i come to i come to realize this they get this from the spiritual spouse the spiritual spouse come and inject that into their body they could inject you sexually or through a needle or through feeding you these demonic spirit they are very possessive they are wicked they are evil they are nothing to play with you have to set them on fire break the covenant i had to break covenant marriage license with them burn wedding gown um you know now i see where my life with relationship has always failed because i was already married in the spiritual realm they make my life a living hell the spiritual spouse they make my life when i go in relationship and a guy that liked me they always scared the guy away and i was wonder why the guy stopped talking to me they will come and threaten the guy in the dream like if you ever go near her again i'll kill you somebody tell me they dream that they dream that you know when they was dating me and they never talk back to me you know they never talk back to me i run into them long after say so something come and threaten them in their dream if you ever go near you i'll kill you spiritual supposed to come and threaten them and they do this to a lot of people a lot of people wonder why they scare guys away and stuff and they could put a veil over you make you look old for your age or they could make guy look at you like just a sister and no guy would take you serious they do the guy just want to have sex use you and abuse you and that was my story because i had a spiritual spouse in my life that was carrying away god the next thing they do they manipulate my behavior i used to be acting up when i'm in a relationship all the time i used to be like cussing and fighting with the guy and just being mean to him and i say why am i being mean to this guy and he, he's so nice to me i couldn't control it because they was manipulating me they had they had my body parts in the marine kingdom and they was manipulating my behavior they had a remote control controlling how i act and i didn't know if somebody would have tell me that during those days i would have laughed and said oh no crazy i had to go through it to know that this is true they was manipulating me manipulating me if you have a spiritual spouse problem you could not marry and have peace in the marriage in the natural and they will give you hell you're gonna end up divorced the guy gonna run leave you or you gonna run leave him peer war every day because they want war and the next thing you could have spiritual children <laughs> i thought having spiritual sports was bad enough i come to realize that i had some spiritual children dreaming that i'm giving breastfeeding to kids and i'm like what is this dream about why am I dreaming that I'm breastfeeding kid? I pass breast. I'm not breastfeeding. My kids are old enough. They don't get breastfeed. So I shouldn't be dreaming. This. Yes. Me, you have spiritual kids. You have kids with them. They use you as a breathing machine. You will feel stuff moving around in your body. I had stuff moving around in my body like babies moving around in my body. You know, like when you're pregnant, I have baby because I have three kids. So I know I was feeling like stuff moving around my body like I was still pregnant. I was feeling that. I was like, that is weird. I was feeling stuff kicking in my body. I was pregnant with spiritual spouse, having the baby in the marine kingdom, multiplying. I have to repent for these evil things because it's my wicked sin caused these evil spirit to come in my life and give them open door for them to be using me as breeding machine in marine kingdom. What I do, I do a spiritual abortion. That's the only time you could do abortion to abort that demonic baby. I say in the name of Jesus, I do a spiritual abortion and I abort every baby in the north, east, west and the south that i have in the marine kingdom and i set them on fire 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 in the mighty name of jesus and i said god send your angels to chop their head off in the mighty name of jesus i burn the altar in the mighty name of jesus. they will not use me for no breeding object they will not use me period i'm not going to be used by no demonic spirit period i prefer to be god slave than to be a demonic spirit part of the demonic kingdom they're using me to have baby and for sex 
snakes. The blood of Jesus against that. The blood of Jesus. And no way they're going to bring me to hell with them either. They're going to burn by their own self. And I have to get serious with these demonic spirits. And race them up. Race them up in the realm of the spirit. Burn them. I burn every wedding picture. Because I dream that I have wedding picture too. With them. It's that serious. Wedding picture. And I, and I, I feel like I have come contact with um, the spiritual spouse in real life. Back in the days when I used to be wild. And before I had kids. I used to be party. I think I, I come contact with um, these demonic spirit in person. You know. Because they could come in person and have sex with you. Sometimes you meet a guy and then they disappear. You wonder what happened. Yeah, that that was a somebody from the Marine Kingdom just appear, and he was in a relationship with them because I I was dating some guy when I just moved to this country and then he just disappeared from the face of the earth and when I went back to his house to ask they act like he never lived there I said what is this this is a mystery it was a, it was a merman a spirit from the Marine Kingdom Marine spirit. Yes, so you have, I have come contact with them face to face. Many people have come contact with face, have sex with things they think is human being, but they weren't human being. I thank God for delivering me today, washing me, cleansing me with his blood. I had to fight for my deliverer, still fighting to keep the door closed because any little thing they could open, any sexuality thought come in my head, I rebuke it because they will send you sexuality thought. They will, everybody. Nobody can tell me say they not have sexually thoughts or demonic thoughts that not of God. It come every now and then. The demon try to send it through you because your your mind is a playground. And I rebuke it right away. And I repent and I set those thoughts on fire. I burn them with fire. Said in the name of Jesus. Any thought I put on the element of salvation. Any thought that's not of God. It will not come out in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus against it. The blood of Jesus against it. These evil thoughts. Yep, that's what I do. It's not easy. You have to fight for your deliverance from these spiritual spouse. As I said, they are wicked, and they take a long time. Depends how long they're in. It will take me a long time, almost three years to get delivered three years it sent me to get delivered and after i get delivered and realize i had kids the kid was still coming and when i get delivered so you know you get delivered my finance start to go up i was getting financial breakthrough three people bless me when i get delivered with money three people bless me with money and then i start getting a lot of hours by my job because they were swallowing up every good thing that the lord have for me every good thing the lord have for me every blessing they were swallowing up that's what they do the thief come to kill steal and destroy that was what this evil spiritual spouse was doing destroying everything and of course my sons they're gonna have to go through deliverance because i pass it on this is how these curse are passed on. I have spiritual spouse problem. Yes. I pass it on. Because oh I know that. When I was pregnant with my son. I had some growth. Fiber and those stuff is demonic. It's demonic growth in your body. I had growth. Fiber. And one of my son. They said they see that something trying to attack it. But because the doctor don't know spiritual stuff. They didn't say it's a demonic spirit. They see uh, antibiotic anti-body trying to attack against my son and that was a spiritual child because as i said i had spiritual child oh you know that you've been touched in the night time when you wake up your vagina feel weird you almost feel like and sometimes you get up with pain in your belly that know you are being attacked sometimes they will make you forget that you you know they will block your memory so you can't remember that they come and have sex with you some people they don't remember that the spiritual spouse come and have sex with them while they sleep you get up your vagina feel type of funny you know like when you're pregnant or you feel when you're pregnant so you know you've been touched by them and your vagina hurt you and your belly hurt you and stuff because you know those demonic spirits they have some you know some disgusting big old john i guess I don't know. I'm just just saying that because the pain that I get up when I used to be feeling those pain and wonder why am I feeling pain in my belly bottom. I mean, I wonder what made me wake up with them pain. Yeah? Lord, remind me that the spiritual spouse come and have sex with me. I forget me, forget them, block my memory. 
them erase it from your memory they're evil like that they know how to manipulate the human being so you erase it so you don't know how to cancel it you know, and flush it out your body i had to uh, communion was what helped flush these demonic spirit and fasting only for fasting you had to do only for 30 days only for 40 days no one no two no three if you get rid of them something out of my body flush it out flush it out because them evil seed that them put in your body the spiritual spot the evil egg they put in your body with germinate and it be serpent and spirit moving i had movement in my body from the spiritual spouse too i had movement and i have a video about that talk about that god delivered me from serpent and spirit they they put egg they look a baby serpent uh, they have sex with serpent uh, when they come out have sex with you then leave serpent and spirit in your body snake yep snake is the serpent uh, if you don't know what i'm talking about snake they leave snake in your body they could leave octopus they could leave frog one time you see one video with a woman you know a frog then take out her body a true story them here yep then witchcraft then witchcraft you basically you manipulate you but i thank god i am a deliverer i am an overcomer this morning and i exposing this evil spirit and you could not come near me or nobody and i need the sound of my voice today because you cannot come near us we are shield and protected and if you ever come and have sex with us the blood of jesus strike you you evil spirit from the pit of hell we don't want demons have some nerve or have sex with human being the blood of jesus again so no heat your own poison in the mighty name of jesus any good thing the marine spirit swallow up in our life let it be restored sevenfold in the name of jesus the blood of jesus against the marine spirit so that's my story with the marine spirit now they come into my life from a wild sinful sexual life sexual sin that's how they come into my life it was manipulating me and having sex with me whenever they want coming to have sex oh i keep these demon away i'm gonna let you know oh i keep them away for good i start to hunger and thirst after righteousness i just was hungry and thirst after righteousness they haven't made my christian walk very easy but because of them i was able to go grow tremendously and stuff because they come and attack me very hard and even try to kill me they try to kill me a lot of time there's a lot of time they try to kill me because they hate me because i expose them i expose them i am hunger and thirst after righteousness when you hunger and thirst after righteousness they cannot come near you they cannot stand that because that means god presence is around you i cover my head now they don't like when you cover your head because when i cover my head the scripture let me to know that i attract angel and it's the angel of God because there's different type of angels. But I'm attracting the right one now, the angel of God. I pray. I pray a lot. Sometimes they do try to mess with your life where sometimes you don't feel like praying. But anytime that Jericho come, I tear down that wall in the mighty name of Jesus. I fast. I have to constantly fast. I read my Bible. And I speak against the sin. That's how I expose them and keep them out of my life. And I love God and I make sure I'm serving him in spirit and truth. That I'm not playing church. There's people here that on this YouTube, they will tell you about God. They're playing. They're not even, they don't even believe in God. They're actually satanic worker. Most of the people here, God come to tell me that is a lot of satanic worker saying in jesus name and the bible tell us that in matthew 24 that it will come in jesus name but they're a liar they're workers of iniquity so yes i make sure i am serving god fully because if me not serve god fully who no, two people would know god and the devil because they are around you constantly so they would know the angel of the lord is around you taking records satan is taking record so you only could fool your um the people around you but you can't fool god and the devil so you have to know that you're really serving god in spirit and truth i turn away i turn away from things of this earth that's how i keep these demons off of me i turn away anytime sexual thought come in i rebuke it right away i rebuke it i make sure i repent every second of the day i get i repent 
and I still pray against these evil spirits. I still pray against them because occasionally they will try to come and check to see if the fires keep on burning. They check, trust me, and they want to come back with even seven other stronger demons. Because they are always looking for room to come in. I'll, I do what James 4 verse 7 says. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. That's what I do. I submit everything to God. My, all my sexual feelings. Submit it to God. Because I'm young. I'm young. I'm young. It's not like I'm old, you know. I'm 33. That's still very young. I don't care what you want to say. If it all, but to me, that's still very young. I still have a lot of life to live. I still have a lot of life. I didn't live even my best life yet as a child of God. And this spirit, let me tell you what it do when it come into your life. Barrenness. Pure barren they cause. Poverty. They give sickness and disease. Some people, they struggle with all type of sickness. Diabetes, cancer, this, that, heart disease. This is how them spirit they come and do. Come steal, kill and destroy. Give you all type of sickness. Thyroid, anemia, sickle cell, autism. He give all type of stuff. It, that's what these demonic spirit does. It does. It give you those sickness. It does. The sickness of these world nowadays, they are not physical they are spiritual sickness that has been put in your body when you sleep in they come and inject it the spiritual spouse and they could even feed you to in your sleep and stuff and they will also make you be, be very irritated they put a spirit of rejection on you you try to get a job you try to do good everywhere you go people reject you they put evil veil until you get up and pray and fast and break this evil curse over your life your life will be a living hell my life was a living hell i said they put evil stuff i have to even pray to get hours on my job or so like that was supposed to come naturally but the evil spirit put a, a veil on that to block it and the people give me the oh they would take it back that's how bad i had this spirit as i said when i got broken i got financial breakthrough right away right away when you get broken i think it was the same day i get financial breakthrough that was blocking it from coming they try to swallow up everything your dreams they all lose your purse your bank account the spirit this is what it do a thief a thief everything every good thing in your life sometimes you won't get pregnant you're married they won't allow you to get pregnant they swallow up all your good egg because there's a serpentine spirit in your body when you get pregnant they swallow up that egg the serpent and spirit in your body. A lot of Christians don't know this stuff. I'm so surprised that, you know, when I get saved, I was telling them certain stuff I was going through, that a serpent and spirit was squeezing my back. And I was in pain for three day excruciating pain. The pain could have almost take me out because when I breathe, the pain hurt more. And it's from these marine spirits. They do that. They weren't happy that I get saved. They was not happy. I was a big part in the satanic kingdom, which I didn't know. I was like a blind wish. They was using me big time to sex, to take down man, you know, and the way my dress for take down man, make man lost off of me. Because once you make the man lost of you, even if he don't have sex with you, you just lost. Me already make him commit a sin. It's the way I was dressed in. So that's how the enemy was using me to take down man. When I was out in the world. And I just thank God for turning my life around. So I could give you the testimony today that I am coming out from the pit of hell. You see me here. I am coming from hell, working my way up to heaven. I am not innocent, but I thank God he has turned my life around and my desire is to see him face to face one day, serve him spirit and true. I know that when I run this race, he said, Janique, well, good, faithful servant, when good, well, good, faithful servant, you run the race and run it good. So I'm making sure I, pr I, I talk about these evil stuff that torment people in their sleep. Torment people. A lot of people torment. Don't know what to do. Some people kill themselves because they hate that the spirit come and sleep with them and abuse. Don't give up. Don't give them, give up. This is a test for you to have a testimony in the name of Jesus. 
don't give up. The devil is a liar. Don't kill yourself because that's what they want you to do. They do put suicidal spirit on you. One time I was suicidal too. Uh, and I have video about that. One time I wanted to kill myself. So, yeah, they put suicidal spirit and they put fear on you. These are the evil spirit that f they feed off the paranoid anxiety. Remember God said, perfect love cast out all fear once you have love it conquer it all no fear cannot be it god did not give you the spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind so i declare today over each and everybody power love sound mind in the name of jesus keep these demonic spirit out your life people of god they swallow up every good thing. Once you get delivered or you know you get delivered, you don't have those dreams no more. You start, life start turn around for the good for you. Life start turn around from the good for me. Uh, you know, I'm still working on some stuff. They have even stolen my memory. You know, sometimes I can't remember something that's how bad it, it was with me because they was just having sex with me all the time. And I have to be crying out to God all the time. Say, I hate it, God. I hate it. Forgive me for having sex. First, you have to repent to repent and ask God to forgive for having sex with demons. I had to repent for that. And when I was eating from off the demonic table, I said, God, forgive me for eating in my dream because I'm not supposed to do this stuff. And I ask God to close every open door. Show me the door that's open that they're coming in through. Manipulating me and using me. They come in and use me and abuse my body. You think you feel bad when a boy dump you and use you. You feel bad when a demonic spirit is having sex with you. And you don't want to have sex with them. You feel so bad and you feel very hopeless. That's how I was feeling hopeless. God sent people to help me. You ask God send people to help me. I hate it God. I hate it. I don't like it. I repent. And you have to be real with God. Say, I repent for the evil I've done. I repent of oral sex, sucking on man, um, private area. I'm not supposed to be doing that. I repent of doing these exclusive sexual position that I get from porno. I repent of watching porno. I repent of masturbation, sin against my own body. I repent of using play, um, dildo. I repent of using sexual toys. I repent of anal sex and you have to be specific. I'm giving example here. Be specific. I repent of the way I dress. I am the one that attract these demons to me. By the way, I was dressing. They were saying, hmm, sons of God, look, son, sons of God. No, they were saying, when they see me dressing like that, they say, hmm, these girls that God made, they are so beautiful. Look how they expose their body and stuff. And they love when you dress like that. But when you start dressing long clothes, but they people call me granny. I don't care. I start wearing long clothes. Now I don't want no demon looking at me. When I go to bed, too, I go to bed in a long dress. I don't want no demon spirit coming to look at me. Because they come around. They will still come around. But they can't touch you. They come around. Of course they come around. But they can't touch me now. Look and you can't touch. Keep it moving in the mighty name of Jesus. You evil spirit. I juke your eye out. They will look. But they can't touch. So yep. This is my story. This is my song. I went through a lot with these evil spirits. They torment me. Went through pain. Several pains. They try to put sickness. But I sent it back to sender. Back to the pit of hell. In the name of try to put sickness on me. Try to put sickness on me. Because they leave a lot of evil stuff inside of you. When they deposit their sperm inside of you. Oh my God, the Lord, good Lord, I have to have mercy. And so if, if you want to get deliverance, you could seek a person that do deliverance on it. But you yourself, deliverance start within yourself. You start dressing better. Makeup attract them. They love when you paint yourself up and look pretty for them. Because, you know, God said, make us beautifully and wonderfully. So I had to give up the makeup. That's when I was, from I was just saved, I give that up. But they still was around. Although I'd give up makeup, tongs, and lingerie, and all the nasty clothes that I used to be wearing. I'd give that up. They were still around. Because they said they weren't leaving until I defeat them. They said, I ain't going to let you go until you beat us. That's what they said. I ain't going to let you go until you beat us. First, you have to beat us. You have to conquer us. And they weren't one.
And when they come, when those spiritual spouse, when you have the spiritual spouse problem, more than likely you will have pride too. It walks with pride, you know? It walks with pride. And pride is the love and spirit from the marine kingdom. He's the king of the ocean. So, yes. So, you have to keep this door closed. Stop doing exclusive stuff. You're welcoming them in your body. Now, care if you say married, married bedroom, and if I'm a Christian, I can do whatever. Yeah, you welcome the spirit in your life, and they make your poverty. They, they put poverty upon you. You can't enjoy Christian life. You can't enjoy blessing. Soon as you get a blessing, then they snatch it away. You have to spend. Soon as you get money, it would leave your hand, and you don't see the money. That's how it was with me. That's how it was. It's not now I'm starting to see God blessing over my life because I had to conquer this evil, wicked, demonic spirit from the pit of hell. Evil, disgusting spirit. And then you have to conquer the kids because you make kids too. They use as a breeding machine when you see yourself or oh, with kids that you don't even... You always see yourself with kids in your dream that you don't even know. Wonder where is these kids appearing from in my dream? I don't know them. So that's why you have to conquer them. I hope somebody is blessed by this video. You have to break covenant. Break covenant with them. Say so in the name of Jesus, I break every covenant I have with the spiritual spouse. In the name of Jesus, I burn her vagina. I burn it. I set it on fire. That demonic witch that is coming to sleep with me at night. I set her on fire. Fire. Consuming fire. I strike her with thunder line. I rip up every divorce letter. I serve her a divorce letter in the realm of the spirit. You have to serve them a divorce letter in the realms of the spirit. Because it's a spiritual thing. You burn up tuxedo. You burn up um ring. Some people feel like they have ring on their hand. And they can't see it. Because they are married in the spiritual realm. And so it fe they have put a ring on your finger. You have to take it off spiritually. Act like you're taking off a ring. And throw it back to them. Take it back. Come out of my life for good. In the name of Jesus. I bind you. And I cast you out. And I loosen judgment and the fire of God. Against you evil wicked spirit. Out in the name of Jesus. And the best fast under this situation is a three day dry fast you will see deliverance you will see deliverance to get rid of these wicked evil spirit but not a lot of people want to do that fast it's very hard on the body but i have d done it a multiple times i did it i think did i did it since this year started maybe not but i did it a couple of times last year it was very hard on the body but i see result from that i had to do a couple of those to see result because my situation was very bad because of the bad sexual sin background I was coming from, from my father's house. So I thank you all for watching it. Please subscribe if you haven't shared the video. Comment, tell me what you think about it. Life is spiritual indeed. But you remember, you are overcome. I don't give up. I didn't give up. If I give up... You know, the Lord wanted me to go through what I had to go through so I could be strong. It helped you to be strong and help to become wiser so you could help other people. Your test is a testimony to help others. You have to go through it so you could help many and millions and thousands of people. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Be healthy. God bless you. God, wonderful people. Shalom now.